Forgot, you just came from Menugu today. This afternoon. You know You don't see what they are this one. That's the top this one. I beg, no drop. I beg, no drop. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I Graduates. Um, I, I am a graduate, ma. So why didn't you include it here? That's because I'm not exactly a graduate. Which one is your not exactly a graduate? You're either a graduate or not. I was a student of civil engineering, but I dropped out of school. Then you're not a graduate. I may not be a graduate, ma. But I know everything a graduate of civil engineering should know. I believe I can do this job. <laughs> really? Yes, ma. You can test me. Okay, since you're very sure of yourself, let's take a trial. What is collateral load? Mm. Collateral load is an additional dead load, which is not the weight of the people or the building. It includes the plumbing work, the duct work, the ceilings, and other components of the structure. Mr. Bigel, I'm very impressed. You were qualified for this position. I told you. But I wouldn't want to lie to you. The position has already been taken. I don't understand, Ma. The last time I checked on the job searching website, it was still there. And there was still vacancy. I know, but the CEO reserved it for his cousin already. So why did you people put it online when you already have someone for the position? We did it for formality's sake. For formality's sake? Why you ask me all those questions? Like I said before, we did it for formality's sake. God, you just wasted my time. This is not fair. Sorry, Miss Abigail. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, eh? God will get you another joke. Also, you're back. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. How was work today? Mm -hmm. Work was fine. So how was your interview? Huh. They turned me down again. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'm just tired. 
I'm tired of being broke. How long will I continue to depend on you? Don't say that. What are sisters for? I know we are sisters, but it's not easy for you to. But I'm not complaining. You don't need to complain. I mean, ever since our parents died, you've been the one taking care of me. Every day I try to forget May 2nd. But I still remember that night like it was yesterday. Wherever those thieves are, they will never know peace. Amen. Because if our parents were to be alive today, getting a job would have been easy for me. I wouldn't have dropped out of school and I, I would have gotten a job as a civil engineer. Definitely. <sighs> Sis, can you work as a domestic staff? A housemaid? Mm, something like that. I know it's beneath you, but you can manage it for the meantime. Hmm? Well, as it stands now, I don't think anything is beneath me. It's better to be a humble housemate than say it's beneath me and be broke. Nice. In that case, I'll have to talk to my friend that runs a domestic staff agency. I think she can fix you somewhere. Okay. okay. Thank you. Anything for you, sister? <laughs> Please, did you cook? I'm famished. Yes, I did. It's in the kitchen. Right away. What did you cook? I hope it's not that potty you cooked the other day. <laughs> Call it that rice. That was a mistake, Ossi. Mistake? Uh, you keep talking about That's it. not how I taught you, madam. <laughs> Why did you disorganize my, my, my drawer? Huh? Oga, no disorganize them. Una arrange a arrange. What kind of useless arrangements is that? Huh? I've told you countless times that when you uh, arrange my underwear, you do it a particular way. Okay, you arrange them by their colors. Blue on Monday, red on Tuesday, green on Wednesday, and black on Thursday. But you put black first instead of fourth. Why would you do something so stupid? Oh, I bet. Oh, God. I've been thinking about black first, though. I've been thinking about black first, though. That's what you always do. You always think nonsense. There's nothing going on up here. Huh? Oh, God. I beg. No verse. No verse. I'm not going to do it again. Keep your apology to yourself, okay? Because you're fired. Hey! Oh, God. Oh, God, beg. Oh, God, beg. No fire me, oh. Oh, God, beg. Now, this job I didn't feed my children. Me and a single mother. My wife give me belly. Don't leave me. I do not care. Oh, God, beg. Oh, God, you don't care. I don't care. I do not touch me. Oh, God, beg. Next time when you're giving me a shot. Oh, God, beg. Shut up when I'm talking. Next time when you're giving a job, you pay attention to details. Now, get out of my house. Oh, God, beg. Oh, God, beg. Leave if I call the police. Oh, God, beg. 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 Nonsense. All these incompetent people just sending over. It's ridiculous. No sense. No, 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 no reasoning. I'm disappointed. Jesus. No sense. No, what's I need to call this agency. This is ridiculous. What's going on with this TV? Huh? No signal? What did she do? What did she... <sighs> Abigail, your sister said I should give you a job. Yes, ma'am. What kind of job do you think we do here? It's a domestic staff job, ma'am. Are you sure you can do it? Yes, I can. I can do my job impeccably. Your English is too good to be a domestic staff. Most of our staff are usually uneducated and they're not as polished as you are. Do not let my looks deceive you, ma. I'm actually stronger than I look. Hmm. Really? Yes. Are you sure you can handle our kind of job? No, ma. I haven't done this kind of job. In fact, I haven't gotten any job since we moved into this town. But please, I really need this job. I am tired of depending on my sister for everything. That's actually not a problem, but 
There's a little issue, Abigail. What is it, ma? There's actually no vacancy. All our staff have been sent to our client, just as requested. But trust me, if anything comes up, you'll be the first person to know. Ma, please, uh, there's something you can do. Can't you just fix me anywhere, even if it's to become an assistant housemaid? It doesn't work like that. You know, we only send the amount of um, staff our, our clients request for. So, trust me, Abigail. Once there's any request, you'll be the first to be contacted, okay? Good morning, Mr. Paul. How are you doing? Why on earth do you keep bringing incompetent and retarded people to me? Okay, ma. I, I don't understand, sir. Is there a problem with the staff I burned? Well, I just fired her. Fired? Well, Mr. Paul, this is the fourth one you're firing in two weeks. Well, that's because you keep sending people that always stress me. You'll tell them one thing and they'll do the exact opposite. You know, I'm beginning to doubt the competency of your agency. Okay, it's like you go to the psychiatrist's hospital and employ their patients for God's I'm sake. I'm really sorry, sir. There's, I'm going to send a replacement right away to you. I'm no longer interested, to be honest with you. Okay, I'll try another. Oh, agency. come on, sir. How about? I'm actually going to send a replacement right away. Well, I hope this one is different. Definitely. She's very, very good. Like, trustworthy. Better than the rest. That retarded staff of yours made. Sure, thank you very much, sir. Whew, Abigail, you're very, very lucky. You just got yourself a job. Really, ma? Yes. Let thank me you. send you the address so you go there right away. Okay, okay? ma. Okay, ma. Good afternoon, sir. I was trying to. What are you doing here? I was sent from the domestic... You haven't answered my question. I said I was sent from the domes. I didn't ask where you were sent from. I asked what are you doing here? You knocked. You didn't even hear coming. You just barged in like it's your house. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. I... Sorry for yourself. Now you go outside. You knock. You hear coming before you do so. Am I clear? Okay, sir. No manners. Come in! Come in! Hey, hey. So you want to break my door, huh? That's what you, that's your plan? You want to break my door? No, sir, I I, I didn't think you heard me. You haven't even started working here and you want to destroy my property? Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Sit. Okay, sir. Now, while cleaning my house, you have to be very careful, okay? If you break anything, you pay for it. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, hold on. I'll be back. Just stay right there. Okay. Okay. Now this is a guideline of how you arrange my things, okay? okay? While arranging my clothes, you arrange my underwear in a particular order. This is very important. See if you mess it up, you're gone, okay? Okay. Good. Now hold this part up. Hold this up. Don't be slow. Oh, sorry, sir. Monday, blue. Okay, you arrange them by their colors. Okay? Tuesday, red. Wednesday, green. Hold it up. Thursday, black. Friday, white. Saturday, yellow. And Sunday, I like a nice brown. Okay, sir. You, you keep that. Okay, sir. That is very important to me. Okay, sir. What are you waiting for? Get to work! Where, sir? That's a great question. Why don't you pull out your phone, open up Google Maps, 
enter where, go there, and arrange my underwear. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll find my way, sir. Incompetent. Sir, I've finished cleaning your room, your toilet, and I've made your food. Is there anything else you want me to do for you? What are you doing? Hey, what's wrong with you, this girl? Huh? How's what I'm doing any of your business? Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Aren't you done? What are you still doing here? I'm done, sir. Then leave. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Good evening, sis. Good evening, darling. Welcome. Thank you. Oh. So how was your first day at work? It was stressful. <sighs> ah, sorry about that. It's written all over you. So how is the family you were assigned to? I hope they're nice people. I wish it was even a family. A family of ten would have been better than him. Him? I don't understand. I was assigned to one arrogant man. Hey, sis. It's your first day at work and you're already having problems with your boss. I don't have issues with him. He's the one that has issues with everyone. He literally has a typed guideline of how to arrange his wardrobe. Is he that serious on how he wants his things to be arranged? He's over serious, sis. I mean, I don't have a problem with him wanting his wardrobe to be arranged in a particular order. The issue I have is with his attitude. That guy is arrogant. Oh, sis. You need to see the way he was barking orders at me as if I'm his slave. It's okay. Calm down. Alright? You just have to endure. Things won't always be like this. Definitely. It's just for the meantime. Once I save up money and go back to school, I'll just get a befitting job. That's the spirit. Don't let whatever he says or does get to you. Just do your job and leave. Yes, I'll go there, cook, clean, and leave. Good. Thank you. You're always welcome. <laughs> come, come, come to me, baby. <laughs> I'm done cooking your food. Do you want to eat now or later? Serve it now. Okay. Wait. I hope you followed the exact recipe I gave you. Yes, sir. I followed it strictly. You better have. Because if you cook nonsense, you're out of here. I don't tolerate incompetence. You're arrogant, sir. Did you say something? No, I said let me get the food. What did you just say? Let me get your food, sir. Okay, then go get it. Where's the food? You're wasting time. You're spilling water all over the place. I'm sorry. How clumsy could stop, stop, stop! I'm sorry, sir. You're going to get water all over the napkin. 
Cheese. I'm sorry, sir. I would be in the kitchen. I don't care where you'll be. I don't. I'm sure you cook nonsense. you like the food. I'll come back when you're done. Find this. I was cleaning the wardrobe. You were cleaning? Did I tell you the wardrobe was dirty? Did I tell you did a cleaning? Huh? I, I thought you You thought what? Well, don't think. Unless I ask you to do something, do not do it. Point of correction, you can't even think. Okay? Because thinking involves the brain. And from the dumb things you do, you don't have a brain. Get out of my room. Get, hey, don't touch that. Get out. Hey, sis. Ah, your bag. Yes. Why are you home at this time of the day? You didn't go to work. I did, but I came home early. Why? Nothing. Abigail. Abigail, what is wrong with you? What? Is, what is wrong with you? Did that? Did anyone hurt you? No way. Did that man touch you? Because if he did, I'll deal with him. No one touches my family member and goes cut free. He didn't hurt me physically, but he destroys me emotionally. He insults me. He talks to me as if I'm worthless without caring about how he's going to make me feel. Listen, I am going to tell Mrs. Zara to get me another work or I'll resign. It's better I keep my worth as a human being than work for someone that doesn't regard me and treats me like a piece of trash. So all these tears because of how he talks to you. You won't understand. He makes me feel as if I'm worthless. As if I'm useless. I know I may be his housemaid, but I can't remain a housemaid forever. It's okay, sis. It's okay. Come on, stop crying. Hmm? Stop it. You know I hate to see you like this. People say talk is cheap, but I say talk is free. Just because people don't pay to talk, they abuse it. Hmm? You can, he can talk to you wrongly, but it is left for you whether to take it in or not. It doesn't have the ability to control your happiness, so don't give him that power. 
You are a strong woman. You are powerful. You will make an impact in this world and in this generation. So don't let the shenanigans get to you, okay? Okay, sister. What you said is true. I mean, why would I even allow his dog get to me? My work is just to cook and clean for him. Mm -hmm. He is just a bitter person who wants to transfer his bitterness onto me. Exactly. But I won't let that happen. Don't ever let that happen. That is the spirit. Now, put a smile on your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you for your encouraging words, That's sis. Fine. Don't let his toxic attitude pollute you. Right? Okay, sis. Mm -hmm. Good morning, sir. You came back. I didn't believe you were going to come back, especially given how you left. Actually, I was about to call your agency and tell them I'm not patronizing them anymore. I mean, they keep sending me retarded people like you. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Let me get back to what I was doing. I'll come back and no, check. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Thank you. You know, I normally get the asthma attacks when I overstress myself. What did you say, sir? Um, I said I normally get the asthma attacks. No. Before that. Before that? I I don't remember seeing anything before that. I thought as much. I thought you you said thank you. Oh that. Uh yeah I did. I did say thank you. You're welcome, sir. Paul. You can call me Paul. Okay, sir. Sorry, Paul. It's nothing. It's definitely something to me. Um, I'm so sorry. Please, what's your name again? Did you just say please? My name is Abigail, sir. Thank you, Abigail. You literally saved my life. So thank you. You're welcome. At least for once, I'm glad I was helpful to you. And I'm not as empty-headed as you said I was. I'm sorry about that. 
I could, I could be an asshole sometimes. Thank God you know. <laughs> I'm sorry about those words I said to you. Your words hurt, sir. You made me feel as if I was worthless. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You know, it was just a tough guy act, you know, because you know these housemaids and, and the atrocities they can commit. I'm sorry. I understand you, sir, but committing atrocities is dependent on the person. I'm not their profession. A bad person is a bad person, irrespective of their occupation, gender, ethnicity, or religion. You are absolutely right. I actually subscribe to your school of thought. Where is your tuition fee? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, as a student of Abigail's School of Thought, right? Exactly. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> give me your tuition fee. Well, I'll add it to your salary, okay? I'll be expecting it. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again for everything. You're welcome. Uh, I remember I made fish paper soup for you. Oh. Do you want me to get it here? Uh, no, I'll have it in the dining. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. All right. All right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, where's yours? I made it for you alone. Oh no! In that case, you have to join me. No, I'm okay. No, I insist. You must join me. It's yours. I made it for you. Come on. Okay, I'll get a spoon. All right, I'll wait. No, don't wait for me. I'll join you. <laughs> Is he <your> waiting? <laughs> Go, I'll wait. Just okay. be quick, okay? It's nice. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna move this over here. Alright, you taste it first. No, taste it first. It's yours. Hmm. Are you sure you want me to taste it first because it's mine? Or you put a love potion in it. <laughs> Why? Why will I do that? <laughs> yeah, you don't mind me. I'm just playing around. <laughs> Such an irony. Uh, what's an irony? Who would have thought that you can be funny? <laughs> okay, the tough guy thing is just a facade, right? I prefer people meeting that guy before they meet this guy, so... Yeah. Why? If you can be this nice, why treat people like trash? Well, uh, I was uh, I was bullied a lot as a kid, right? Uh, it happened a lot until I stood up to it, right? Though they beat the hell out of me that day, <laughs> but the bullying stopped, right? So from that day, I realized that if you act tough enough, people will mess with you. That's true. But you know, not everyone is a bully. That's true as well. I'm just going to protect myself first, right? Yes, That's the same thing, sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. I hear you. Yeah. Why not eat your pepper soup before it gets cold? Oh, you mean our pepper soup. All right. right. Since you don't want to go first, why don't we go together? Okay. All right. You didn't take that. There was nothing on it. There was something. There was nothing on your spoon. Okay. So Wait, okay. Oh, See, so you really put love potion in this. I did not. That's why you want me to eat it. I don't want. Okay, no. Take an actual spoonful. Okay, I will. Mean. Okay. <laughs> you have a nice smile. Hey, sis. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. This one you're smiling like this. Did someone give you money? Ha! Money. Sis, you have money. Uh -huh. <laughs> you like money too much. Why would I like money? <laughs> money is the second thing that controls the world after God. Mm, what you're saying is true. But money is not the reason I'm smiling. So why are you smiling? 
Hmm? Gist me now. You know I like gist. Okay. He has changed. Who? Paul. Who is Paul? My boss. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. He has changed towards me. So what did you do that made him change? He was having an asthma attack and I was there to rescue him. Oh, Shay. Hey, <laughs> Abigail the superhero. Yes, mm. you can call me Abigail the superhero to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's actually a nice person. You don't mean it. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you know the one that was crying the other day that uh, uh, I don't like the way my boss talks to me. He's a very wicked person, blah, 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 blah. I know I said that, but he's not that bad. I mean, all those things he was doing was just to act like his stuff. Uh, that's good, though. I was wondering how you would cope with him. Me too. I'm happy he has changed because I wouldn't have lasted there for a month if he continued like that. Sis, thanks to me, I was the one that made you not to quit. Hmm. Thank you for encouraging me not to quit. Because if I did, I wouldn't have met the better side of him. Now you know patience pays. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Yeah, it was, uh, it was intense. It hasn't been that bad in a long time. Uh, hey, I'll, uh, I'll call you back later, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Hi. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. How was your night? My night was okay. How yeah? was yours? It was. It was good. It was good. Thank you. Again. I really appreciate what you did. Thank you. For the umpteenth time. I told you it was nothing. <laughs> Wait. Stay right there. I, uh... Got you something. Like it? It's nice. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm forever in debt to you, so it's nothing. That's a strange thing to say. Hmm. It's not. And I really mean it. Okay. I appreciate it. Let me get to work. I have a lot to do before I go to the market. Oh. We are out of food stock. Oh, okay. Um, when you're ready to go to the market, just let me know. Okay, okay. I will. All right. Thank you. Take yeah. care. No, thank you. All right. Okay. I'm ready to go to the market. Oh, okay. Um, how much? How much do you need? Fifty thousand naira. Fifty thousand? For what? And what exactly? I will buy many things, sir. I even wrote a list for you. Here. Okay. Wait, fifty thousand for all of this? Do you know the previous housemaids used to collect over 100,000 for the same exact items? Really? Yeah. You didn't notice they were cheating you? I didn't. I didn't even bother to find out how much these things cost, to be honest with you. I... Well, I'm different. I am not like that. Yes, you are. Obviously, very different. Can I? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, so... 15. Hello. Here is your change. Change? Yes. What? You know, I was actually worried the money wasn't going to be enough. 
Did you really buy everything on the list? Yes, I did. I even bought extra for some stuff. Wow. <laughs> you are different. Thank you. You can keep the change. Really? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Is that an AutoCAD? Yes, it is. <laughs> How did you know? Well, um, I'm a civil engineer. You are? Yes. Uh, how? Why are you uh, a housemaid? Well, that's because I'm not really a civil engineer. I was in University of Lagos studying civil engineering, but I dropped out in my third year. Oh, wow, that's sad. Uh, why? What happened? Well, I'm not from a financially buoyant family. So when I lost my parents, I had to drop out. You're an orphan? Yes. I'm so I sorry. sorry. I, I lost both of them same night. Even though I wasn't there when they were killed. But my sister told me it was tragic. Killed? They, they were killed? What happened? I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, I totally understand. I mean, sometimes bad things happen to good people. Sorry. Well, enough about my pitiful life. <laughs> so, what are you doing with an AutoCAD? Uh, well, I'm designing something for my clients. You're an engineer? Yes, I am. Why don't you go to your office? Well, I don't have uh, an office in this town yet, you know, so I freelance for now. So you just moved in into this town? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I just moved in last year, so... Okay. Yeah. You must really love this town for you to move in. I wouldn't say that, you know. Let's, uh, let's just say I'm hiding. <laughs> um, Hiding. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, but this city is is nice. It's really nice. I must confess. Um, yes, yes, it is. Yeah. So, do you know how to design with AutoCAD? Definitely. I was the best in my class. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> Let me show you. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. What? You're really good at this. I know. Wow, this is really, really nice. <laughs> I'm shocked. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I don't just like it, I love it. Mm. Wow. You do have skills with... Uh, I have to, uh, I have to answer this call. Okay. But you're doing great. Thanks. I'm really impressed. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's so nice talking to you again. How are you doing? Fine. How is Nigeria? Nigeria is okay. Nigeria is okay. How is Canada? It's fine. I miss you, you know. I miss you more. Like, seriously. Also be in Nigeria, okay? Really? That's amazing. I can't wait to see you. Same here. I can't wait to see you. You know, I've been so lonely since you traveled. Like, I feel all alone. Sure, I'll make it up to you, okay? Uh, sure. Like, I, I can't wait to see you, honestly. It's alright. Uh... Sir, I... I came to tell you that I've finished and I'm ready to go home. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. You have to finish the design you started, okay? Definitely, sir. Alright. Alright, good see night. Ya. Yeah. Bye. Hello? Hello? No, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so, uh, when... Hmm? <laughs> this guy is not serious. <gasps> Who is that? Don't worry. I want to know everything. <laughs> uh, sis. Yeah? How is that your Sinaton boss? Hmm? <laughs> your Sinaton sent boss. Mm-hmm. He's fine. 
This one, you're smiling like this. It's like both of you are still in good terms. I told you, he's a nice person. All that bad boy attitude of his was only a facade. Hmm. That's good, though. I hope he doesn't turn back to that annoying person he was. Don't worry, sis. My Paul is a sweetheart. Eh? Sweetheart? I don't understand. Since when? Wait. Sis, are you falling for him? I'm not falling for him. Well, I'm not sure. But even if I was, he's cute. Hmm. And every normal girl will fall for him. So if I do, that makes me a normal girl. Huh. Sister, sister. <laughs> Legend of the faller. Sister. <laughs> you better be careful, though. Just take things easy. Please, I don't want anybody to hurt you. You know I'm the only person you have in this life. I know. You get? Yes. Be careful with him. I will, sis. You worry too much. Why don't I worry? Calm down. <laughs> 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 That's actually nice. Yeah. You know, this process, I'm not too fast with this process. I don't know why. I mean, but you're pretty fast with mm. it. Thank you. Just pay attention so you learn from me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, I, uh, I need to pay attention. It's difficult, but... <laughs> Oh, okay. That right there. Hold on. Yeah. Let me see. Mm -mm. Let's okay. get. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me do this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I'm a gentleman, so I would hey. You ain't gentleman. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a gentleman. You're looking at what? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? Hey, you're throwing it. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Fight back. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to fight back. Okay, you're going to bring the laptop. You're going to bring it. Hey, stop, stop. Hey. <laughs> Funny how the ah, okay, okay, stop. What are you doing? What? Yeah. Hey. Funny how hey. the You're going to make me get. Fight back. Fight back. I'm going to put your makeup. Ow. Ow. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're supposed to be apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Stop, 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 yeah. Hey. Let me get it for you. What? No, no. no. I'm no. still your domestic staff, remember? Not for this time, okay? Hey. Ah. Let me serve you, okay? Okay. Two bottles of water. Coming right up. Oh. For you. Mm. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. So, let's get back to work. Yeah. 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 Sure. So, where did we stop? So, um... Why are you staring at me? Uh... 
You know, I never realized that you were this beautiful. Thank you. Um, let's, let's finish this before I get home. Oh, yeah, don't mind me. I <laughs> forgot I was presenting this to the client tomorrow. And we need to hurry. Mm-hmm. Why don't you come with me tomorrow? Ask my assistant. Really? Yeah. I'll be honored. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Okay, you've done so much for me. You've been a blessing to me. Um, let's... Let's quickly finish this. The design is absolutely perfect. The client will love this. Yes, it's really nice. It's great. We did it. No, you did it. Thank you. Hello? Okay, I will be on my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I have to go now. I didn't realize it was this late. Uh, relax, relax. You could sleep over, you know? I mean, you could stay in the visitor's room if you want, or my room is available as well. I can't. My sister is going to be very angry with me. But I would like to call you before you sleep, though. You'll see me tomorrow, right? <laughs> Yes, I will see you tomorrow, but uh, I need to hear your voice again. Okay. I'll be expecting it. Okay. Uh, I have to go now. Yeah, aren't you going to give me a goodbye hug? Okay. Okay. Alright. All right. See you tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Good night. Good night. Hey. Okay. All right. This is nice. This is really nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> Your sense of humor is out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can be a clown sometimes. Okay. Have you thought about trying comedy because you're very funny? No, I haven't actually, but since it's coming from you, I guess I'll give it a thought. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Well, I hope you get that contract. With you by my side, I'm 100% sure I'll get it. Amen. Okay, um, I have to go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, uh, wow. It's actually past 12, so I guess I'll see you today. It's true. I can't believe we've talked for over three hours. <laughs> I know, that's what happens when you, you're with someone you care about, you know? Time flies by. So you care about me? A whole lot. I mean, the word to quantify how much I care about you hasn't even been created, okay? I love you, Abigail. I love you too. Alright. Uh, good night. See you soon. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. I have to have Abigail. I have to have this girl. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, yeah, now to call my real G. My real G. What's up? Hello, lovely, love, 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 love. <laughs> How you doing, babe? Mm. Who was that? Mm. It's Paul. Paul. Hmm. 
Why are you talking to him by this time of the night? Won't you see him in the morning? I will. But he said he wanted to hear my voice before he goes to bed. Ha! <clears throat> hear your voice. Sister, I don't understand. Wait though. It has gotten to the point where you have to hear his voice before you go to bed. His voice suits my soul. <laughs> <laughs> sister, sister! <laughs> Eh? When did you become a poet? Since I found someone that swept me off my feet and took me to cloud nine. It's not only cloud nine, it's cloud ten. Don't mind me, sis. <laughs> Falling in love has brought out the poet in me. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Who would have thought that annoying boss of yours would bring you so much joy? You know what they say. Your worst enemy can become your best friend. That's true. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to tell him to come pay homage. You know I'm your mother, your father, brother, sister. In fact, all of them put together. Did I you even tell him? <laughs> I'm serious, so it's not funny. I know, I'm going to do that. Okay, fine. Cool. Let's go to bed. Or you want to call him again? Mm, eh? No, just you know, just want to stay here and do all what you know a little bit. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Madam, let's go to bed! Oh! Good morning. Good morning. You look stunning. Thank you. You're welcome. I see you're ready. Mm, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> let's go get that contract. Let's do. Oh! Let me grab my laptop, okay? Okay. I'm waiting outside for you. All right. All right. You know, when I was making my presentation, I noticed that everybody was checking their watches. Like, they were bored. <laughs> I was boring them. They were checking their watches. But once you took over, it was like you put them all under a spell. Yeah. They all listened with rapt attention. Yes, they did. Especially the CEO. I mean, that guy was, he was nodding his head like an agamaliza <laughs> to everything he said. Even before you opened your mouth, he was really nodding. <laughs> that agamaliza gave you a contract worth 30 million naira. Yes, he did. All thanks to you, of course. You're welcome. You know, ever since you came into my house and my life, you've brought nothing but joy and happiness. I love you. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm scared, Paul. Did I did I do something wrong? I'm scared you'll toy with my heart. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> I would never do that. Okay? I I truly love you. I'd be a fool to use and dump you, honestly, because 
All you've done is bring a lot of joy into my life from the first day I met you. Okay? You're my world right now. How am I sure you're not saying this just because you had sex with me? <laughs> what if your change in attitude is because you wanted to have sex with me? <laughs> sex? If it was just about sex, you'd be seeing different girls of different sizes, colors and shapes come here every single day. But does that happen? Exactly. So that should prove to you that I'm a different kind of person. You know, once I love you, it's only you. I'm crazy about you. Even a blind man can see it. Are you sure I can trust you? A hundred percent. I swear on my life. Okay. I believe you. And I love you. I love you too, baby. Yes, I was. So this is what you were doing when you asked me to stay upstairs and watch TV. I wanted to surprise you. You clearly did. <laughs> I want to serve you today, you know? You know, I'm supposed to be doing your cooking and not the other way around. Says who? Says the agency <laughs> that employed me. Well, I have higher authority, okay? I employed the employer that employed you. You employed the employer that employed me. Yeah. That's actually a tongue twister. Yes, it is. Enough of the talking, okay? It's time to eat. Right? Yes, it is. I mean I... this with a piece of my heart and a slice of my soul. Oh. I love the sound of that. Thank you. Well, I hope it tastes as good as it smells. It tastes better than it smells. Let's see. Right. Mm. This is actually delicious. I told you, <laughs> it tastes better than it smells. I'm really good at this, you know. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. I love it. Mission accomplished. This is my jam. What? This is my jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Go okay. Look away. Look away. Right. This is a look away dance. Yeah. Oh my. Do you want to hear the song? Okay. Let me hear it. Hey, it's a, it's a nice, very nice song. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I love this song. You too. like it? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have great taste. Okay. Yeah. There is actually no dull moment with you. Yeah, no, I like to catch crews. You know, I have to. It's actually a necessity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I schedule it in mm -hmm. my calendar. Yeah. Every day. You are the president of Christopia. Hey, I like that. From today, <laughs> you have to call me your excellency. Okay. Even though it's treason. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. My sister is going to like you. Can I meet her? My sister? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Actually, she has been pressurizing me that she wants to come over and see you. So why haven't you invited her over? Well, I wanted to be sure that you're serious with us. Okay, so have you confirmed it? Mm-hmm. Great. Invite her over so I can win her heart just like I want yours. Okay, I'll tell her to come over. What? Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, can you tell us to come tomorrow? I think it's, it's the weekend, right? Yeah, that would be perfect. Okay, I'll tell her and see what she says first. Today. 
Madam, how was work today? Uh, sis, work was fine. And this one, you're smiling like this. There's something different about you tonight. Different? Mm -hmm. What's that? Am I getting fairer? Mm -mm. It's not about your complexion. Madam, it's like you're adding weight. If that's the case, well, it's Paul's handwork. Ha! Paul! Hey, <laughs> hey. That guy is really taking good care of you. Yes, he is. You know, when you have POM, you can get additional weight without eating anything. POM? What is that again? Peace of mind. When you have peace of mind, you will just be adding weight without eating anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. But wait, sis, when are you going to introduce me to this guy that makes you really happy? You know what? He even wants to meet you. We are can go and see him tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes. Wait, so why why haven't you told me about it? I'm sorry, sis. It's it skipped my mind. Are you serious? It skipped your mind. Eh? He asked you to invite me over. And you're saying it skipped your mind. Wait though. It's like you've forgotten I'm the only family you have. If I don't collect wine on your head, there will be no wedding. <laughs> I'm sorry, elders of our land. Now you sabi. <laughs> ha. Okay, don't worry. You know what? I'll tell him to take us out tomorrow. You better do. Uh -huh. Sis, there's this joint. I heard the ankobi is very good. Very tasty. And we'll go there. Take Unkobi and drink one or two bottles. Sis, sis. <laughs> what? You like life too Why much. Why would I like life? <laughs> I don't understand. You know all the happening places. <laughs> Why would I know? Have you forgotten Timaya's song? This life, I can't keep myself. Abby. I can't keep myself. Abby, please, 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 you have to tell him I'm ready. Okay. Ever ready. You know me now. We will, I promise. Mm -hmm. Guilt is not go. a problem. Sure, everything is ready. <laughs> Standing by. <laughs> Come in. No, it can't be. No! Sister! Wait, what's wrong with her? I don't know. She just acting like she saw a ghost. I don't know. I'll go after her and find out. Please do. What is wrong with you? You've not said anything to me. What's wrong? It was him. It was who? Do you remember May 2nd? I don't understand you, Sister Erika. I am talking about your attitude towards Paul and you're here telling me about May 2nd. What has May 2nd got to do with your attitude towards him? He killed them. Please talk because you're beginning to scare me. Paul was the one that killed mom and dad. Sister Erica, this your joke is too expensive. I remember this face. Hey! I don't want to hear pimp from you. Did you get on the village with your truck? Everybody else leave this house. No, no, nobody, not leave me and my wife, they're here. Yes. Ah, are you sure? Yes. You gotta feed the one. Hey! Check inside. Make sure nobody leave this house. Nobody's here, Just one minute, 
You come to collect tax. If you get money, food, laptop, jewelry, eh? It will make sense. I said, we are going to do. Eh? Let me be your Ghana. I am the man of the house. Don't they ask about it? Why? Why don't you talk? Why don't you talk? No, I don't make you bring up. Let me let's do. My friend, come out in uh, the morning. I forgot, she just oh, came you know, from Enugu to the Did you buy from her? Eh? Where are you now? Eh? You don't buy a butter. Because money don't do. Eh? You don't see where they are this one. So I got to chop this one. You understand? Leave her, leave her. I'm a young girl. I beg, 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 Believe me, right? Okay, wait. This was when he was arrested three years ago. Why haven't you shown me this before? You know, when you heard the news of our parents' death, you fainted. You stayed in the hospital close to a month. I didn't want to reopen old wounds. There was no point because they were already arrested. No. No. Yes, it is. Okay. If if this is him, then why is he roaming the street like a free man? Miguel, why are you talking like a child? What is wrong with you? Don't you know the country we live in? He obviously bribed himself out of jail. He said something. He, he told me he was hiding here. I swear. He must pay for all the pains he cost us. Okay, so... What, what are we going to do? Should we report him to the police? Abigail, why are you so dumb? What is wrong with you? Don't you have sense? Why are you talking like someone that didn't go to school? What is what's your problem? Eh? You want us to report to the police? Really? So that he will bribe himself out of jail again? Are you serious? 
<laughs> eh? No, no, no. Don't you know he's a dangerous man? When he comes out of jail, he will come after us. Don't you get it? Then say what we are going to do. What are we going to do? Because I'm confused right now. <laughs> We must kill him. We will kill him to avenge the death of our parents. No. We can't do that. Have you forgotten the oath we took? Hmm? Why are you doing this to yourself? You know you have just been discharged from the hospital. Hmm? I still believe it. That our parents are no more. Sis. It's hard for everyone. Especially me. I can't imagine what you went through watching them get killed. You can't imagine it, sister. <laughs> no one can imagine it. You needed to see the smile on that monster's face after he killed them. <laughs> Swear to me. Swear to me by our parents' grave. That by adventure we meet this man. We are going to end his life. I swear. Whenever we meet this man, we will make sure he doesn't live to see the moon set. We swore that we will end the life of the Akira. I can't kill Paul. Why? I love him. Have you lost your mind, Abigail? How can you love someone that killed your parents? Don't forget. It was because our parents died that you dropped out of the university. And the only way we are going to pay back is to kill him and cause his family the same pain he caused us. No. This can be, okay? There has to be an explanation to this. How are you going to? To meet him, of course. Have you lost your mind? Erika, why are you so dumb? Don't you have sense? What is wrong with you? I just told you that that monster killed our parents and you say you're going to him to explain. No, to explain what exactly instead of you to sit down there. Just sit down. Let's plan on how to eliminate it. I need a closure, Erica. I'm going to get that explanation. Abigail, come back here. Abigail, I'm talking. Abigail, is this girl mad? So, you have grown, Abby? Eh? Abigail! Hello, love. Uh, have you landed? Yes, I have. I just checked into my hotel now. A hotel? I thought you said you were coming straight to my place to hang out with me. Uh, yes, I know, but I just want to stay in a hotel for a day or two. Once I see you, I wouldn't have time for myself again. <laughs> because you always want me to be around you. Of course I always want you around me. You're my real G now. <laughs> Are you uh -uh. sure it's because of that? Or because you want me to help you travel out of Nigeria? Well, all of the above. Okay, all of the above. Where are you right now? Send me the name and the location, okay? I'll come right away. There's something I need to tell you. Okay. I'll send you right away, okay? All right. All right, cool. Take care.
Please make it official. Can be found in strange places. Funny how the magic unfolds. Funny how it feels like the world is slowing down. When I look in your eyes, funny how it won't be the same if you're not here. Funny how you came and you changed me completely. Funny how it is that someone like me could be intoxicated by you It's incredible that someone like you can hold me down It's a miracle somehow you broke through through my walls I cannot believe I'm losing it for you Now I feel the butterfly Everything is not the same Yeah Yeah, 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 yeah This bastard has been playing you all along It's obvious he has been keeping her in the hotel because you were in his house They seem to be into each other are you sure you were actually a student of civil engineering? Because right now you're talking like someone that doesn't have brain. Eh? You see two people hugging each other and you're asking if they are into each other. Mm -mm. They're out of each other. The earlier you realize that this man is a monster, the better for you. What? God knows where he's going to. This man is a devil. Yeah. Funny how love can be found in strange places. Funny how the magic unfolds Funny how it feels like the world is slowing down When I look in your eyes Funny how it won't be the same if you're not here Funny how you came and you changed me completely Funny how it is that someone like me could be intoxicated by you It's incredible that someone like you can hold me down It's a miracle somehow you broke through, through my walls I cannot believe I'm losing it for you Now I feel the butterfly. everything I am sure he goes to other states to rob and acts like a saint here so that no one will suspect him. Let me go inside and confront him. He's an animal. Exactly the same thing I told him the night he robbed us. Eh? You needed to see his face when he killed our parents. This guy is such a monster. There was no atom of remorse. But he swore to me. He swore to me that he wasn't a bad person. That is the more reason we have to end his life. He did not only kill our parents, he, he also toyed with your heart. No, something is not right. There must be an explanation for this. Did you lose your mind on our way here? Are, are you all right? What is wrong with you, this girl? So everything you have seen and everything I have said, you, you still want to go to him and explain? No, explain what exactly? What is wrong? Wait, wait, wait. Are you under a spell? 
If you want that, I'll clear, I'll clear your eyes right now. He's a heartless beast. He doesn't deserve to leave. Now you're talking like my sister. Sis, let me tell you how you were going to kill him and no one will suspect you. He is asthmatic, right? I'm coming. Uh. Hey. Hi. Nice to see you. So how's your sister? Is she um is she feeling better? Yes, she is. The drug she took worked like magic. That's great, but uh where is she? Oh no, she's at home. She would meet with you some other time. Ah, uh, that sucks. I was really hoping I would meet her. Don't worry, some other time. Uh, oh, this one you came this late. I hope you're sleeping over. Yes. Yeah? For you. And you know what that means, right? Of course I know what it means. It means tonight is the happiest night of my life, bar none. Mm -hmm. To be what? My skin is so soft. Um, I... Yeah. I want to... Don't you want to be with me? It's not that. I'm just hungry right now. Let me cook something, okay? Uh, dinner can wait, okay? Let me eat you first. Please. Let me cook first, okay? Hey! Why are you in such a hurry, huh? Come. We have all night. Remember? Okay. All right. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's gonna be nice. Tonight's gonna be a good night.
I'm sure he's dead. Nice job, Barbie girl. I hope you switched off the cameras. Yes, I did. Nice one. Mom and Dad will be smiling in heaven. Watching his soul burn in hell. Are you... Are you sure we did the right thing? What kind of talk is that? Are you feeling guilty? Yes. For some strange reasons I am. No. You don't have to be. This man here has killed so many people. So we are not only avenging the death of our parents, we're also avenging all the innocent lives he has taken. I know, this was supposed to make me feel better, but I don't know why it made it worse. You don't have to be. Come on, ah, ah, you're talking too much. Let's take him to the bedroom. Quick, let's take him to the bedroom. Okay. You must be happy, girl. Yes. I am Officer Mike. My colleague, Officer Mecca, I am sorry for your loss. Please, do accept our heartfelt condolence. Thank you. I'm so heartbroken right now. I understand. Be strong. We would like to see you at the station tomorrow for statement taking. Station? Yes, we, we are inviting you to the station to take your statement. I can assure you nothing else. It's just to take your statement for documentation purpose. Okay. Once again, I'm sorry for your loss. We beg to take our leave. Take care. Erica, what? What should I tell them? Abigail, what do you mean by what should you tell them? Tell them what happened, of course. Ah, uh -uh. Tell them you went to his house in the morning and met him dead in his bedroom. What if they ask how he died? Nobody is going to ask you how he died. Or did you kill him? No. Exactly. He died of asthma attack. Yes. He, he died of asthma attack. Abigail. Listen, you have to be bold, okay? Don't act strange, so they won't suspect you. You have to be confident, so they won't ask you a lot of questions. All right? Sis, I know you can do this. Hmm? Okay. You can do it, right? Yes. Mine. I trust you. A 
big girl. Why is your hand shaking? <sighs> She's still in shock. She still can't believe her boss is dead. <sniffs> he was a very kind man. Take heart. Time is all. Sorry. It's okay. Eh? Did I keep it? Ah, ah. Sis, are you not going for his burial? Eh? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Sis, you have to go there to avoid suspicion. You know you already told the police that you met him already dead in his house. And they believed you. And the doctor already confirmed that it was an asthma attack. What about his family? How am I going to face them? The guilt will kill me. Abigail, what is wrong with you? What kind of stupid guilt is that? <laughs> eh? That monster killed mom and dad because they were trying to prevent him from raping me. Do you know how traumatized I have been? Do you know the nightmares I have every night because of that incident? And you're here talking about guilt. You better, you better get hold of yourself and go for that, that, uh, that burial. What is wrong with you? What kind of stupid guilt is that? Eh? And listen to me. When you go there, you better comport yourself oh, to avoid suspicion. You hear me? I'm going to walk. If I could go for the burial, oh. Did you hear what I said? Right Please, oh. I don't want any trouble. I wish I knew the truth. I should have known. Cause underneath the tough mask was a beautiful soul That swept me off my feet Now I have no one to call my own I'm gonna do all I can to right the wrongs I have done If only it You must be Abigail, right? I know you're deeply hurt by this tragic accident. Please accept my condolence. I understand if you don't want to talk. Just know that when you want to talk, and that when you need someone to talk to, I'm always here for you. Why are you consoling me? I should be the one consoling you. I only lost my boss. But you lost your fiancé. Fiancé? I don't understand. I saw... Someone saw him proposing to you at an eatery. to see you again honestly no same here like you look amazing 
Canada has been great for you. Oh, but you too. You've changed. You've really put on weight. Hey, what can I say? It's Abigail's food, you know. She takes good care of me. It's obvious. But well, why didn't you come with her? Well, you'll see her soon enough, you know. I mean, she's absolutely the best thing that's ever happened to me since I moved from Lagos to this city. Honestly. Wow. That's really nice. I'm so happy for you. Thank oh, you, baby. my bestie has finally found true love. Yes, I have. You know, you can definitely say that again. It's amazing. And my plan is actually to um, propose to her on my birthday and uh, fly out to Canada with her after we get married. So, it's the plan. Wow. Yeah. That's really nice. Like, really. Yeah. Oh, this calls for celebration. It okay. does. It definitely does. <laughs> And you know you owe me a bucket of chicken. Uh, no, I don't owe you one bucket. I owe you two buckets of I chicken. I know. Okay. I know. You know, I love food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes to the right places with you. Mm -hmm. I, I know that. I know. Right? Nice name. Mm. There's nothing like Nigerian food. Like, seriously. Mm. Let me ask you, how are you propose to her? You know, you're always playful and never serious. No, no, no. no. I'll be serious with this, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a serious matter. Mm -hmm. So I have to approach it as such. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, imagine I'm Abigail. Okay. You propose to me. All right, let me show you I can do this, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, right on, okay. Mm -hmm. Baby, mm -hmm. I love you so very much. And nothing will make me happier than to hear you say yes to this question. Baby, mm -hmm. will you please marry me? Oh, by all means. Yeah? Please. That's a yes? Mm -hmm. And then I'll kiss her hand. Oh, oh. please. There's no way she's not going to say yes. She's going to say yes, right? Are you kidding me? That's the plan. Oh, right. He wasn't proposing to me. He was only rehearsing on how to propose to you. You don't understand. You mean both of you are not engaged? Engaged? No, Paul was my best friend. He was like a brother to me. He didn't tell you about me. I'm sorry. My name is Ife Adesaya. Paul loves to call me love. You can call me love too. He told me a lot about you. He, he did? Yes. He told me of how you saved his life and how you helped him with the contract. was for him to propose to you today and after the wedding you both relocate to Canada I'm sorry
sorry, Abigail. Just know that the little time he spent with you were the best times of his life. He has been through a lot for the past three years. And I know that wherever he is, he'll be grateful that he met you. I'm sorry. If I could turn the hands of time, you'd be right here with me. I wish I knew the truth, I should have known. Cause underneath a tough mask was a beautiful soul that swept me off my feet. Now I have no one to call my own. I'm gonna do all I can to right the wrong I have done. You're Abigail, right? Yes, ma. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It is not easy to lead someone. Have you lost a loved one before? My parents. <laughs> that means you understand how I feel. I feel like the whole world should just end. I feel so empty. <gasps> Do you know I lost? of my son last year. This year, Paul. Paul? Paul didn't tell me he had a brother. He doesn't like telling people he has a twin brother. Paul was a twin? Yes. Paul and Peter. We're twins, not just twins, identical one. He doesn't like telling people he had a twin brother. <gasps> if you were him, you would do the same. Nobody wants to be identified as a twin brother to a notorious armed robber. Yes. <gasps> when they were younger, Peter used to bully Paul with his friends, even though he was older. left everything he had in Laos to relocate to this city. <laughs> oh, because Peter's gang were after him, thinking he was Peter. <laughs> they didn't believe Peter was killed in the prison. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who do I live for anymore? Who, who do I have? Oh, why would you just leave me like that? Oh, death. Death, you are wicked. You took the only happiness, the only thing I've cherished in this life. Who do I run to? Where do I go from here? I am left at the middle of the road. What do I do? What do I do? Who do I talk to? Nobody. Oh! Now I am here by myself, wishing I could turn back time. I 
Wish I knew the truth I should have known Cause underneath the tough mask Was a beautiful soul That's led me off my feet Now I have no one to call my own I'm gonna do all I can To right the wrongs I have done If only it can bring for too long I wish I knew All along I've been wrong It's all my fault Now I am By myself I wish I could time I'm gonna do All I can I If only it Can bring you back Then you won't Maybe she went to buy something. Ooh. By the time you'll be reading this, I'm already be handing myself over to the police. We have made a great mistake. We killed an innocent man. But was it actually the arm jobber that killed our parents? But his identical twin brother. Not only did we kill an innocent man, I killed the love of my life. We started as enemies that couldn't stand the sight of each other. To end up as lovers that couldn't stay away from each other. I killed the man that brought joy back into my life. I believe the only way I can recompense for our action is if I turn myself into the police and bear the consequences of our actions. You don't need to worry, sis. I wouldn't tell the police that we planned it together. This is my cross to carry, and I'll carry it alone. Thank you for everything you've done no! for me. No! No! I love you so no! much. I killed him.
of time You'd be right here with me I wish I knew the truth I should have known Cause underneath the tough mask Was a beautiful soul That swept me off my feet Now I have no one 